Hey guys, welcome back and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best free VPNs for Windows 11. Now, before we begin, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs in this video a try, you'll find the latest pricing, discounts and reviews available in the description down below. Now, searching for the finest free VPN can be a difficult task as there are many VPN scams. Some of these are malicious and others make money by taking and selling your data. Now, normally, I would not recommend using a free VPN for several reasons, and here's why. For starters, free VPNs do not offer the same level of security as paid alternatives because they often don't have strong encryption and other security measures. In fact, in most cases, these security options are only made available in the paid version of free VPNs. Second, free VPNs often have data or bandwidth limits, which restrict the use of the VPN as soon as you pass the data cap. Finally, many free VPNs depend on selling user data or displaying advertisements for revenue, which means that even though the service is free, you may be paying for it with your personal information. And so it's important to think twice and consider these potential drawbacks before using a free VPN. In most cases, you'll find that it's actually worth investing in a paid VPN service to get the best security and performance. But if you're looking for safe free VPNs, I've been researching and testing the best free VPN options available and I've narrowed it down to Proton VPN, TunnelBear, and Atlas VPN. And I chose these three specifically because they have a good privacy policy that does not profit from the sale of your data. And on top of that, they're all independently audited, meaning that they're all verified to have a no logs policy that doesn't collect your data in the first place. But naturally, you'll still face some limitations since these are free services after all. Starting with Proton VPN, this is going to be the best choice for people who want a safe and reliable free VPN that can be used at all times and occasionally be able to access some streaming services. You'll only have access to three countries of Proton VPN, including the US, Netherlands, and Japan, but you'll still be able to cycle through about 70 servers, which is pretty neat for a free VPN. However, the speeds will be throttled for two reasons. The first is that the servers are naturally congested because they're free and everyone is using them. And the second is that the faster servers are reserved for paying customers. Though you still get access to essential security features like the kill switch and split tunneling, and there is no data cap, so you can keep using without the fear of any bandwidth limitations, but you won't be able to download torrents using the free servers since that will put too much pressure on the servers and will make them even slower. And so Proton VPN is the best option for users that like to keep their VPN turned on at all times and maybe even access some streaming services here and there. Now, the next best option on the list is TunnelBear, and this is going to be the best option for those looking to access access a wide range of server locations without having to subscribe to a paid plan, which can be useful for bypassing basic website geo restrictions, allowing you to access foreign online markets. It also boosts a well-designed user interface that's very easy to use. TunnelBear allows you to access all of its locations, but there is a 500 megabyte data cap, so you'll quickly run out of data and have to subscribe. Though you'll be able to raise the data cap up to one and a half gigabytes for a month if you tweet about it. But what I like about TunnelBear is that all of its features are available without a subscription fee. Granted, all you get is a kill switch and a tool that helps you bypass censorship, which is called GhostBear. It's still pretty generous of TunnelBear not to impose any limitations on free users besides the data cap. But it's important to know that TunnelBear will prevent you from accessing streaming services or downloading torrent files, as TunnelBear was not made for such purposes according to their support. But overall, TunnelBear is is perfect for those that occasionally use VPN to secure their data on public Wi-Fi, for example, but also want access to a large network of servers. And the final entry is none other than Atlas VPN. And this is a great option for those that want to safely download torrents with a free VPN. But the catch here is that you have a five gigabyte data limit and the speeds will be slower since they're free servers. And just like Proton and TunnelBear, Atlas also offers a kill switch to make sure none of your data is accidentally leaked in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Of course, you're less likely to access streaming services with the free servers, and you only have access to three locations, two in the States and one in the Netherlands. But overall, Atlas VPN is a very easy VPN to use, 
is, and the fact that it allows for torrenting is enough for many users to be convinced to use it over the other free options. So to sum it up, making the decision between these three will depend on your own specific needs and preferences. If you're a heavy VPN user, then Proton will be your number one choice for a free VPN. If you don't use VPNs very often and want an easy to use VPN with access to many locations, then TunnelBear is the way to go. And finally, if you're looking for a free VPN that allows you for torrenting, then Atlas VPN is going to be the best choice here. Now, if you're not willing to put up with any of the limitations of free VPNs and want the best security and performance, then I have three recommendations for for you guys. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now starting with ExpressVPN and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest and easiest to use VPN and it has the most verified no logs policy which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then nord would be the one to get and then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking power pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. 
all in all, if you're not satisfied with the limitations of a free VPN, consider trying a premium VPN with a free trial or money back guarantee as some options may have known to sell user data or have malicious intentions. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you guys in our future videos.